First weekend of October, Mike and Cash here in Southern Ontario. Cash, we're used to the green on the radar, mm. but not that blue in Saskatchewan. No, that spells snow, something we certainly don't want over here yet. So it makes us feel a little bit better about all this active weather situated over Ontario. It can be worse, right? And there are heavy amounts of snow falling somewhere else in the province. We'll tell you about that coming up. That's right. Now, the bulk of the rain is in eastern Ontario, southern Quebec. We're still dealing with some showers, though, for the rest of the weekend. How much rain have we seen thus far? Some areas, upwards 40, 50 millimeters of rain, but more to parts of northern Ontario. Yeah, and it was a rain-snow mix there, and it continues, actually. Still more rain to come, a possibility with this trough that's moving through. But we're talking about a trace, maybe up to 10 millimeters of rain within the next 24 hours for the city of Toronto and surrounding areas. But to the east of the Great Lakes, you'll note heavier amounts because of lake effect. That's right. Now, temperatures are cold. Yes, okay. yes, all the Harry Potter fans, they're out there. They're enjoying the conditions. And as you can see, we obviously had the sun and the clouds and a little bit of rain and more rain on the way. That's right. So we're looking at the lake effect showers to continue into the day tomorrow. Again, it will be below seasonal. And we're not done with the act weather just yet, Kasia, because as we return to work and school on Monday, more rain expected for southern Ontario. Yeah, not the best start to the work week but we should end off on a better note we'll get also follow us on twitter i mean we're such a great resource we'll let you know exactly what's happening meanwhile meanwhile we do have temperatures right around seasonal for the next seven days and we are in the fall season so why don't we take a look at the top five signs of fall here's natalie Right now, we're not seeing rain outside of our Oakville studios, Kasia. Now, can you smell uh, some lingering rain, the showers we saw earlier out there right now? <laughs> no, I don't smell the rain, Mike. But again, you mentioned there is that risk. So I've planned for everything, anything weather-wise. Today is one of those everything uh, days, really. I've got the sunglasses on, sunshine for now, but still a chance of some rain. We had, This is basically how I drove to work today, so a little bit of everything. Meanwhile, what a difference from yesterday. It felt close to 30 degrees, and now a 13 degree drop so today closer to 13 degrees here in southern Ontario so dressing for these conditions back to you inside Mike thanks Kasha that's right the temperatures pretty much chopped in half over that means Kasha Halloween is right around the corner yeah. I'm going as Gaston from Beauty and the Beast will you be my bell <laughs> You didn't just do that. <laughs> Somebody had to have written that script for you, Mike, but um, probably not. I would rather maybe a parka princess, right? It's always cooler, obviously, uh, but we'll see. I haven't given it too much thought. Right now, I'm warm. I'm pretty warm in my in my jacket here. I'm not quite parka weather, though, yet. Mike, temperatures have fallen by a good 13 degrees. What a difference from yesterday. And you will note it's pretty windy. We've been seeing peak wind gusts at about 40K in southern Ontario, so that's going to be continuing as this weak trough continues to move through the area. But plan for anything because still a chance of some rain, but still some sunshine is out. So uh, keep warm. Back to you inside. Thanks, Cash. I'm still looking for my answer. Is that a yes or a no? <laughs> we'll say yes, Mike. Perfect. Okay, let's take a look at tomorrow across the country. Wow, I still can't believe that guy was in a volcano. And tomorrow, and temperatures, as you mentioned, are quite cool, well below seasonal. How much rain have we seen as of 2 p.m.? Well, some areas saw upwards of 50 millimeters of rain, greater amounts the further north that we go. That's right, and still more rain to come, unfortunately, if you're not into the active weather, but not a whole lot, really, for the city of Toronto, areas surrounding that less than 15 millimeters within the next 24 to 48 hours, but then comes another system after that. But in the meantime, if you're closer to the Erie Shores, the Port Colburn area, Port Dover, well, heavier amounts, 15 to 30 mils. Of course, it's not just the rain, it's the wind. So the rain that's falling will fall sideways. So probably just leave the umbrella at home. It won't last very long. Temperatures for this evening, eight, nine degrees for much of southern central Ontario. So we'll be on the cool side. And let's take a look at some more of that rain as it pushes in. Here's how it's all playing out. So our cold front is out of the way, but there's a trough of instability following it. So that's what's bringing us well, a little bit more showers and then those temperatures they'll remain on the chilly side so just a heads up unsettled for the next few days now the summer is long gone so let's take a look at the top five wildest moments of summer 2014